Today is a very exciting day. I've said that before many, many, many times, but we are finally getting some furniture delivered. Yeah. Dorit, I know, can you believe it? I've been talking about it enough for the last little bit, huh? Yes, that cabinet that I ordered from Crate and Barrel that I have been talking about since literally we moved in. I shared it with you guys in a few vlogs ago. We tested the layout, we measured everything, we ordered it, and it is finally being delivered. I know, Maple, I am so excited. This room could start coming together, which brings me to what today's video is. We are finally decorating and putting the master bedroom together. We're gonna get the cabinet, we're gonna find a chair, do some drapes, and start working on some finishing touches in this room, and that makes me very happy. Also, I have to find a new light, so. First things first, let's wait for the delivery people to get here to deliver the cabinet, and then we will go from there. Ready, Miss Mabel? Can I get a kiss? I love you. All right, come on, let's go wait. Let's go wait by the door. So they just called. They're about 10 minutes away with the cabinet. Everything is cleared. We are ready. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Even Karen's here to experience the cabinet. <laughs> it's a big day over here. There it is. That's it's going to be perfect. Because you can't make that turn, no matter what. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't say I've never been so sad, but I've never been so sad about a furniture piece. They stood up and it looked so pretty, but there was just no way to get it down the hallway. Sawyer and I had measured and we thought we exhausted all the possible options and found a way and you just, just never know until it actually gets in your space. And they tried everything and... Back on the truck Thank it goes. <laughs> Guess what? Mm, our cabinet didn't fit. Really? Yep. Oh, no. So it's back on the truck. Sawyer and I like measured like impeccably. Like I was so proud of how Sawyer and I measured. Like we, it was a whole thing. And I thought for sure it would fit. The sheer size of it was so cool. Like we got it to stand up in the front room. If you like laid it flat and went this way, like it couldn't stand from laying on its side, standing up, which we needed it to do to get down the hallway. So I'm gonna start shopping again for cabinets. If anyone has recommendations or would like to help me out and send options, please let me know. I have a huge wall to fill. Need something wide, but a little shorter, shorter than 80 is what I figured out. That one was 88 and I think it's just too tall. So my vision won't be coming to life today. Um, we're gonna have to get creative again. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. We're gonna do a little day in the life moment. Um, Sawyer comes back into town tonight. He was in Utah and Moab for my brother's bachelor party. I have a ton of things I need to do to kind of get this house back in order, but also like we have a ton of things that arrived from Amazon that I need to, I wanna share with you, so do a little haul. I want to decorate with them. Um, I have a whole list working that I would love to get done before he gets home. I kind of just want to get the house ready for his arrival. Um, I love doing that. I love surprising him with like <laughs> new decor um, or a new situation when he gets home. I, I've done it for years. Um, so yeah, I want to show him the guest bedroom. He hasn't seen it. I haven't showed it to him because I want it to be a surprise when I show him. So anyways, that is today's plan. Day in the life, getting things done. I love it. I live for it. But also, can you believe that happened with a cabinet? I wanted that cabinet to work so bad. I've been wanting it for, oh my gosh, almost a year. I was very sad to watch it get back on that truck. Still couldn't believe it, so I hope you enjoyed that footage. Really wanted that one to work, but I already went to the gym at 6 a.m. I already got ready. Now it's time to get this house in order. Mm. I love a good piece of toast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like I had just mentioned, hey Maple, leave her foot out of your mouth. <laughs> like I just mentioned, one of my favorite things to do is surprise Sawyer. So initially the plan for today's video was to basically redecorate 
a lot of areas as far as like the guest room, the cabinet was supposed to be here, it was supposed to fit. I will still be able to surprise him with those other areas, but that was the initial plan for this video was to like decorate that and kind of transform the master bedroom a little bit. But obviously that's not gonna happen today. Oh, hello, Maple. So I'm very excited though to get the things on my list done. Oh my gosh, you're ridiculous. And it will be still a transformation and I will still be able to surprise him. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the bed. Um, if you do not do that already, make sure you make your bed every day. It, it's literally life-changing. It's one of my favorite habits that I do. It's so simple, but it makes your life feel so much more put together. Like if I'm stressed or whatever, but and I walk into my bedroom and the bed looks like this, I feel instantly more stressed and anxious. But if my bed is made, it's all crisp and clean. <sighs> Just soothes my soul. So let's get this bed made and then we will get going on other things around the house. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, that looks and feels so much better. And I've been very happy with this new bedding that I found. I think I talked about it a few videos ago. Um, I found a new duvet cover and a duvet insert from Amazon and whew, I'm obsessed. It's like an oversized king. It gives it such a luxurious like hotel vibe. I'm obsessed. So I will relink those because I'm very happy with it. Happier than I thought I would be and I love that. Love when that happens. <laughs> so if you missed my last video, we actually just transformed the guest room. We hung drapes, we built the bed frame, um, we are matching nightstands, the whole thing. So it came a long way in one video, I'm very proud of it. Um, I still need to go decor shopping now that I know what it looks like and find you know, the little details. But something we needed to do was actually raise the bed frame. It was a little low, plus I need to store underneath it. That is valuable real estate under there. <laughs> Have to take advantage of that. So I ordered these risers from Amazon and you can kind of a, adjust them to your liking or height. So I'm actually gonna use all three of these little coins that are just stacked. Um, and it should work perfect. And Karen just arrived. The dog's going crazy, <laughs> but she's here to help me get this back in order and put these under, so. Hi! Wanna hear something exciting? Yes. The couches. You ordered them? No. Oh. <laughs> but they're 20% off, and they're still just 20% off today. Oh, you have gotta order them. I think oh, yeah. so. What? No, no, no. How can you think if it's Well, here's the cool part. I, for whatever reason, you don't love your slipcover color, you can exchange it for free. Oh, that's I sound funny. like a commercial. I'm not. I'm oh, are we filming? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, just no, that's fun. That's great. So, I have in my cart the one that we're considering in here, the one in there. I want to triple check the length that we like. Okay. This one will be the warm oak. The lighter one. Okay. Okay. And then that one will be the darker one. Because right. I'm gonna bring this light rug in there, so Oh yeah, yeah, that, that looks rug. great, yes. And then I'm gonna get a new, slightly bigger rug in here. And can this be washed? So I looked on their site on their like um, facts and questions or what is it, Q F and Q's. Um, yeah, facts and questions. They when I went to the pet section and they kind of did a breakdown if your dog Did you say facts and questions? Yeah. It's frequently asked questions. <laughs> I say, wait a minute, what? Well, you know what I mean. I mean yeah, you can frequently same, ask questions. It's okay. the same yeah. Now you know another meaning. Or <laughs> phrases, and I knew that too. I actually, that's why I think when I said it, it, it didn't, didn't sour. Compute, yeah. It didn't roll off the it tongue. Didn't, yeah, it didn't feel right. I like it. I like those two colors. Order. Do I need to pull out the options of colors again? Nope. To show you? Nope. Are you sure? I remember the colors. You can show me the couches again. My computer died. No way. Really? <laughs> yeah. Give me two minutes. <laughs> All right, we're back. My computer is now <sighs> up and functioning. So I'm just checking measurements before I hit order. Um, we already looked at material. Um, and I just want to check the length of it. I already hit order. Was I <laughs> 96. So it should be from the edge of that ottoman. Okay, so it's about two inches shorter on this side. You're at the edge of the ottoman. Yep. Ish, close enough. Yep. It would be a wide couch. I think that's perfect because this is a big room. If it feels longer and not so wide and deep and hefty, I may be able to sneak two chairs there. Well, I think you probably can, especially because that's going to go back a little. Even if it stays here, it would go back about four inches. Right. I think that'll make a big difference. 
I think that's a perfect color for the house because she can do so many things. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Ready? Push. Three, two, one. Oh did my gosh. Did it go? I ordered couches. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand. I have a hard time like Pushing the button. Hitting yes. Because <laughs> I contemplate things so much and I'm such a like, well what if, what if I don't like, what if I, I did it, I did it. I hit order. Oh, it's a good day. That it's is exciting. It's a good day. That's a good, so exciting. You're gonna have a new couch to jump on. Oh, oh. a new couch to destroy. Yes, a big girl. Oh, that's great. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that gosh. was biggie. That was huge. All right, now should we have some fun? We have some furniture around? Sure. Yes. Kind of give that effect of moving things around and surprising Sawyer as I love to do. I am going to mess with the furniture again. We have this chair that we love and we decided that we do love a chair here, but I am so tired of our bedroom not feeling complete, especially since that cabinet did not work. So I'm gonna move that chair back into the corner in our bedroom um, to kind of give that like we're trying effect and then move the other love seat back here. It'll feel more put together. We have random furniture in random places at the moment and I can't stand it anymore. Wait, I have to show you the story. It's true. Yeah. I moved furniture one night while my husband was downstairs um, watching football. So I thought I'll rearrange our bedroom. We had a sitting area with this yeah. uh, love seat, the bed. And I moved the bed over by the window and I put this love seat and everything with the coffee table over where the bed used to be. Okay. And he came up and the, it was dark and I was already in bed and he went to jump in bed as a joke and he went right over the coffee table. No way. <laughs> to the sofa. Because I had moved the bed and he didn't know it. Oh my gosh, that, that, that's pretty good. Oh, George, was, it was hysterical. He was a funny guy. That's pretty, pretty good. Funny. It's so, a true story. Okay, it's funny you used to move furniture all the time too. So my mom, my mom had this thing when I was little. My dad said, he goes, if I went on a trip and came home, the whole house would be reorganized and reconfigured. He's like, I wouldn't know where our bed would be when I get home. <laughs> because I clearly remember her going, Anjali, come here. And she was like, okay. And we're putting sliders under all the feet. And I just see her go, and push. <laughs> and like literally me at 12, if we're just moving furniture, dressers, yeah. she would rearrange everything. So it obviously is in my blood. It's fun. Um, all right, let's do that one first. Okay, wow, it. look at us. <laughs> I feel like, ooh, fun. <laughs> too fun. Too fun. This is definitely easier. All right, babes, looks out. She's rolling right into place. She's like, oh, good, my chair's back. Oh, I like it in here. You know, I really do. It's just a great chair for in here. And maybe I might fall in love with it more as more pieces start coming in. I think this is a great chair for now and I definitely own it now because it's been past the 30 days. I like that. I like the color with the color of the dresser. That's actually why I picked this quilt for today because oh. it has the green in it. I know. The so pop. I was like, okay, if we're putting the chair in here, we'll do This the... looks great. It does look good. That chair, if you get rid of that chair, I'm taking it. That's fine. I oh. love the quilt. I love this, that. This whole that. thing, it's it feels like, it's beginning to feel like fall a little bit. Oh, I can't wait to change this too. I gotta look for a light. Now that to the shopping list. <laughs> so this round of orders from Amazon, I got very lucky. A lot of things are working and I'm very excited to decorate with them today and see how we like them. We have some home decor, we have some clothing, and we have some Halloween decorations. I needed a new travel steamer and just something easy and lightweight and a little bit easier to travel with than the one that I already had. And I saw this one on an Instagram reel and it caught my attention because it is not only a steamer, but it is also an iron and it folds up so nicely to travel with. The main reason why I want that cabinet in our bedroom is I want something to organize and like display some of my handbags in. And I love the idea of them being in a cabinet so they don't get dusty and all that jazz. So I wanted a few things um, to kind of decorate with inside of the cabinet. So I found this wood riser, about the width of a purse, and I just felt like it would add dimension on a shelf to display one purse higher with another one below. So I found this and I'm like, this is either gonna be awesome or it's gonna look on the cheaper side. And when I opened this, I was pleasantly shocked. 
So this is a bath mat. This is a runner. It's two feet by six feet. Waffle texture and it is super dense. It is so comfortable to stand on and on one side it is grippy and on the other side it's obviously plush. I was so excited when it arrived yesterday that I opened them and put them in front of the sinks and it did not look right. Um, I needed something a little smaller. So I ended up ordering the smaller size and I'm just going to put it outside of our shower and test it out there. So if you've been looking for a bath mat or you want to refresh yours, highly recommend. My girlfriend actually posted this case. Um, my friend Naomi Boyer, she had all of her sunglasses in one of these cases and I'm like, ooh, that might work. What I liked is how many it held as well as how flat the case was so I could like just stack them underneath the bed or like keep them in my closet. Actually. I have the perfect spot for them in my closet that these will just slide really nicely into. But look at that. It's so nifty. The quality of this is really nice too. So a little later, we'll put my sunglasses in there and test that out. And then I started to order some Halloween decor from Amazon. I have a few other things in my cart that I'm going to order and get here probably by next week because I'm going to start decorating. Um, I leave for my brother's wedding in the middle of September. I'm gonna try to decorate before I go. So the first thing I ordered was a pack of witches hats. I have an idea. Let's see how these work. Woo! And it comes with fishing wire. And I have a really cute idea. Um, I might hang them from the trees. We have a big oak. So that might be really cute hanging from there. Or it may be really cute to hang them at different heights. Um, on like my little front porch area that I have. So I'll have to mess around with it and see what I like, but yes, these are perfect. I don't know how I feel about these, but it could be really cute when I decorate. I ordered a set of like furry spiders, which is kind of gross, but also kind of fun. And they're super light, so it'd be really easy to either hang them from somewhere or attach them to like a mirror, TV, something like that. So. Okay, these are actually really good. And they have little red beady eyes. So it came in a pack of five and it has two big ones, two medium ones, a tiny little guy. Um, some clothing items. The first item are these pair of bikers. I have been starting to weight train a little bit more. Um, I just trying to mix it up from Pilates. I love my Pilates, but the one thing with Pilates is it shocks your body at first, and after a couple months, your body kind of plateaus. I mean, honestly, that's with any workout. So I'm starting to mix it up again with some weight training. So I wanted to add to my workout clothes because I've been filtering out the old and finding some new. Anyways, I found these biker shorts and I love the ones with the pockets on the side, especially for weight training. It just kind of feels a little bit more like sporty rather than like yoga y. But I want to say these are like 20 to $25, just not bad for bikers. And I'm not going to lie, this material feels so good. I've already, <laughs> I've already added like another four pair to my cart. I'm just trying to decide on colors and trying to find like matching sets. Um, but these are already some of my favorite bikers. I've already worn them like four times in the last week. Um, so yes, safe to say, I really like them. I found this white basic tank and some of the ones on Amazon are a little bit more like spandexy or I don't know, it doesn't feel like cotton. This is a cotton little tank. It fits so cute. And I actually like, it's kind of like see-through. So if you wear like a little white bralette or sports bra, it kind of comes through, which is honestly kind of cute. I found another Stetson. I am obsessed with my Stetson trucker hats. I wear it all the time, as you guys probably have seen. I have the black one with like the black and yellow patch. And they came out with a cream one with um, black and like a darker gray stitching. So cute and Definitely, you guys know I love my white hats. I wear them every other day. <laughs> so I only have a few other items here. Um, something I've been on the hunt for for a very long time are new throw pillow covers. I've been needing new covers for my throw pillows since pretty much we moved in. I just didn't want to commit to anything, not knowing what type of couch we were buying, um, what colors, what textures, all that jazz. But and also, I'm going to link my storefront down below. I found so so many good finds that I've added to all of my categories. I have like a recently ordered, I have home decor, Halloween decor, it's all down there. And I add even more 
finds than some of the things that I have ordered so or some of the things I have my eye on so definitely check that out the home decor little section is my favorite there's some good good finds in there so let me show you the pillowcases that we are keeping and that we are going to mess around with today on the couch which is why I wanted to do this haul I want to show you what I found and then decorate with them. Really wanted to add some depth and some coziness to our couch. And at first I thought I wanted like patterns like florals as we kind of move into like fall and kind of do more of those like, like burgundy tones. But I had seen something or someone decorate their couch with like solid throw pillows. And I was like, ooh, I kind of like that. But my one thing I wanted to look for was good textures. So instead of playing with patterns, I'm playing with textures and solid colors. The first one that I found was this chenille like pillow cover and it's almost in a coffee color and what I liked about the chenille like vibe of this one is it gives it different tones when it's in different lights or in different positions so when it's on a pillow and it's like all fluffed up it'll kind of give different tones but in a solid color if that makes sense this next one definitely is giving us that texture that I was looking for it is more of like a linen like a cloth like almost like a mud cloth type of feel um, it's a little bit darker more of like a natural linen and I'm normally not one to like fringe pillows it can kind of lean into boho a little too much for me but I like that this fringe was a little like oversized so it kind of gave that relaxed textured look more so than like a boho vibe and the fact that it's kind of like fraying and really soft I don't know I really liked it and the last pillow cover that I found which is honestly my favorite these are so good if you order anything out of this I highly recommend these are boucle pillow covers um, this is the 18 inch and it comes in a ton of earthy tones I may order the caramel color to mix in um, just because the oatmeal kind of matches the this one so we'll have to see how it looks or what we like but the texture on this is so good and when I order these I had the thought I'm like hmm this may either look cheap or it's gonna be a great find and these were definitely a great find the texture on this is perfect it's perfect for fall so that was everything that I ordered from Amazon oh I take that back this romper that I've had on is also from Amazon I just got it yesterday and very happy with it very happy all right that is everything I ordered from Amazon I'm gonna put some of this away and then we'll move to the living room and play in there and change it up in there a little bit and I forgot to mention how nicely priced those sets of pillowcases were the set of two was somewhere between 20 to 25 dollars for two perfect I love that because I feel like anytime I'm looking at throw pillow covers they're like 90 to 100 dollars I'm like I don't want to for one pillow for one pillow cover so yes these were great finds. Uh, refreshing the living room, like even just the pillow covers will make a huge difference. It'll feel so good. Like a lot of these pillow covers I've seen for years. So I'm just over them. Like, you know, it's time to refresh, give it a new look. Um, and I'm excited to see these like darker tones on the white couch. And it'll also be kind of fun to see it on the new couch when it arrives. So I can't believe I did it. I pulled the trigger and ordered the couch. <sighs> That's a big one for me, guys. I know I've said it like five times in this video, but it's the truth, so. I've only been talking about ordering a new couch since before we left Hawaii. <laughs> I've been so excited to do it, and I finally did it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do in here is take off all the old pillow covers and just make a pile of all the pillows. I have tons of extras um, that were on that front couch that I just took off, so I just gotta organize this pillow insert situation a little bit and see what I'm working with. All right, so now I'm gonna throw the inserts inside of those pillowcases. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh, can you, oh, yep, there it is. You can see the texture. I didn't have any of my 22 by 22 inserts, and this is a 20 by 20 um, pillowcase. So my 24 insert is in here, so it's a little stuffed. Oh, that was an arm workout to get that in there, but. It'll be a good support pillow. <laughs> it's only had one 18 by 18, so I'm gonna have to grab another one, but still cute, and we'll still be able to decorate the couch. 
with all of our new pillow covers. Oh, they look so good already. Now that the pillows are stuffed, I'm gonna take a second and kind of refresh some of the throw blankets. I have a blanket on the backside of this couch that's a little bit more springy summer. So I'm gonna switch it out for this waffle, like taupey tan color throw and just kind of add some texture as well as a little more depth than what's there. Wow, that looks so good. I really, really like having that depth on the couch. And I'm really happy I went with the solids. I feel like it kind of plays a little bit more into that traditional, more elegant and put together look. It looks really good. Playing with textures for the win. That coffee color is great. Hi, Meeple. Mwah. I love you so much, just so much. Oh, it looks so good. Mwah. Yeah, this turned out better than I expected. Um, I think I may order that boucle color in the camel color or caramel color. I think I already mentioned that, but I think it'll play really nicely with the rug. Um, so I may order those just to see what I like better. But yeah. All right, let's move on. So I was hoping this would arrive in time for today's video. This is a, another item that I ordered from Amazon, obviously. Um, this is for the kitchen and so excited about this one. Love finding unique items um, for like entertaining or displaying, decorating, all that, but also something that's like useful. And when I saw this online, I was like, wait, that's really cool. <gasps> okay, this is better than I imagined. Look how good. Okay, so this is, <laughs> I love that I just like got that excited over a pitcher, but it's not just any pitcher. First of all, it is fluted, which I think is stunning. The sheer size of it is really cool. But the best part is it's tilted. It sits on its side. How cool is that? Like imagine that at a dinner party or a brunch or honestly even flowers displayed in it. Like how cool is that? I've never seen anything like that. When it popped up on my Amazon, I was like, yes. Okay, this may be one of my favorite kitchen items that I own. Wow. It's so pretty. Even displayed on the counter. I'm obsessed. So I've been messing around trying to figure out how and where I want to style this uh, tilted pitcher. I kind of liked it on the center of the island, but I didn't have the right decor pieces to kind of make a centerpiece there. I wasn't sold on it. So I am redoing this little tray that I have here on our little island. I have this hammered tray, I have a candle, and then I have this little copper pot, which I am going to put all of my garlic in. Um, at first I was trying to do this pitcher on the counter with this bowl, but it wasn't working or looking right. So let's see what it looks like with this copper pot full of garlic. I'm wanting, I wanted like a wood bowl, but I didn't have one the size I needed for like this look. I mean, it's not bad. It's not great. I don't mind it. I don't love it. It's better than what I had going. That's the thing with decorating and styling. It takes time and a lot of the time <laughs> you're moving things around till it feels or looks right. And it takes a long time to collect items to style. And a lot of times I look around and look at little areas going, hmm, that could be better, but I haven't found the right piece yet. So the moral of the story is <sighs> those perfectly collected homes that you see, it takes a lot of time to get there. Longer than I would like, that's for sure. I think the last thing I wanted to do today was organize the sunglasses and test out that sunglass organizer that I got to see if I like it. I like to organize my sunglasses by color. <laughs> I know that sounds, I don't know, may, may not be silly. It sounds a little kind of OCD in particular, but I think they're easier to find that way. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, wow. That is much better. Um, I ended up only pretty much filling up one tray with sunglasses and then I did buy a second one, kind of thinking 
afford, <laughs> like future proofing, because um, I figured eventually I'll probably add more sunglasses. That is so satisfying, and I feel like that makes it so much more convenient than like rifling through a bunch of cases. Really nice, because I'll probably branch out a little bit more rather than just like having my go-to pair in a case like, in my purse or whatever. Like if I pull this out, I'll probably wear a lot more of my sunglasses. So, so this is a pretty nifty organizing hack for sunglasses and it doesn't take up that much space. It's really thin, really cool find. Thank you, Naomi, for posting this on your Instagram because um, you inspired me. Uh, I love you much. <laughs> well, thank you for spending the day with me. I am very impressed and <laughs> feel really good with how much we accomplished. Um, I love how the living room turned out and i again still can't believe we ordered couches that is a huge step in the right direction for the house um my next thing i need to do is like save inspo photos i really want to decide um if we're repainting some rooms adding some framing wallpapering something i'm just really excited to start customizing and adding some unique things to each room so Anyways, um, everything that I talked about from the Amazon haul or anything in general will be linked down below. Great progress today. And I am so excited to surprise Sawyer when he gets home. We should actually be home in about two hours. I do want to share with you guys his reactions because I want to show him that room and the living room. So here are his reactions starting now. So somebody just walked in. Couch is back. Couch is back, but come look from over here. I got new throw pillows. Look, I added depth. They're not just white. I like them. Whoa, wow, very pretty. Whoa, it looks like an actual room. It's the most done room in the house. <laughs> Curtains, wow. a bed frame. Very pretty. <laughs> this is cute. Right, turned out cute. And then nothing crazy, but. Oh, the green chair. I put the green chair in here, so at least it kind of is starting to feel a little That's more great. complete. So your thing didn't fit? No, it was so sad. Probably for the better. It was quite a bit, it was a big piece, but yeah. I switched up the quilt and did that and everyone's happy you're home. I'm happy you're home. We're assuming he's very happy with everything I did. I think he will be. Even his mom, I just FaceTimed her and I was like, look how it all turned out. She's like, oh yeah, he'll be really surprised and he'll, yeah, he'll enjoy it. So that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. I am planning on doing a ton of DIYs in my next one, getting done some little projects. So I will see you guys there. Bye.